As long as I wake you up, I'll keep talking, even if you dislike it. Gu Tingchen, you really. I love you. No, you can trust me. I mean no harm. What do you know about this? All of it. How much do you want? Ten million yuan. Okay. Well, without hesitation, I should have asked for more. Send the money to the account I sent you. As long as Han Chuoyin dies, Gu Tingchen will marry me. I will get you all the money you want by then. Only if Han Chuoyin dies, Tingchen and I can get married. Here is three million yuan. Take the money. Gu Tingchen doesn't know where it's coming from. After the deal is done, we won't get any less. When I become Mrs. Gu, I can still use it to pave the way for you. After all. We are in the same boat. Su Xiaoyu. <laughs> I don't know if he can be Mrs. Gu. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, Lu Yao, you've got me fooled. <laughs> Alright, alright. I don't want to be involved in Yonsky's affairs. I'm keeping an eye on the group these days. You can concentrate on finishing up here. Thank you, Dad. I'm leaving. Xiaofu, go get Su Xiaoyu to the hospital. Okay. Oh, and bring Hamichin over as well. Mrs. Su, please come with us. Xiao Fu, what are you going to do tonight? Take her away. Don't touch me. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> what are you doing? Let me go. Who are you? You're just one of Gu Tingjin's dogs. I'm going to tell him. Well. It's Miss Gu who asked me to take her away. Let me go! Tingsheng, look at them! It hurts! Does it hurt? Is it sad? Tingsheng, what's wrong? Don't do that. I'm scared. You're scared already? Have you ever thought that Chuyun would hurt and be afraid too? No, not me. I don't know anything. I love you so much. How could I do such a thing? It's not me you love, but Mrs. Gu's identity. Your love has turned Chuyun into a cripple, and you still won't let her go. Tingcheng, I really don't understand what you are talking about. Don't understand? Tingcheng. Guess if he kept his mouth shut a lot, will he explain something? He can't run now. Will he drop you down? It has nothing to do with me. It's him. He was the one who framed me. But he said that you told him to do so. He's talking nonsense. I really don't know anything. I just told him I'm sure you would go to the cemetery that day, and so you were really involved in this. What? Then I'll show you something. Yeah. No, these are all fake. It's Lu Yao. It was Lu Yao who wanted to frame me. Ping Chen, 
No, these are all fake. It's Lu Yao. It was Lu Yao who wanted to free me. Who is Lu Yao? He's just a gangster. He pursued me. I disagree, and he framed me. I know the Lu you are talking about. In the past two years, he's been a big name in the underground of Hai City. He said he likes you, and he was pursuing you. Do you think I believe it? You have to take at least to make it sound reasonable. Take the proof. Send Miss Su to the police station. Gu Ting Chan, you can't do that to me. I'm your savior. You owe me a promise. I want you to make it happen now. I lost your patience. Give me a large sum of money. Buy me a villa aboard and send me out. These are three conditions. Then I want Han Chuyun to die. I want you to kill her with your own hands. What? Han Chuyun, that bitch, has hurt me again and again. I can't kill her or hate her. Gu Tingchen, you are so biased. Go get the computer. You are one of his dogs. Still deluding to give birth to his child? What are you talking about? Bitch, you don't know yet, do you? You are a fatality tour of the Gu family. Ting Chen said, when you give birth to his child, he will just kick you out. And then let me take care of his child. Don't worry, I will definitely make him live a healthy and happy life. Oh, by the way, he still needs to call me mom. No, it's not. Tinchen, it's not like this. Listen to me. It's really not what you think. Take her away. Gu Tinchen, you can't do this to me. Gu Tinchen, you will burn in hell. Chuyue, wake up. The Han family and parents are still waiting for you. I'm also waiting for you. You still owe me a child. When you wake up, let's have a good life, okay? Chuyue. Ting Chen, I packed up some old things of Ai An. The doctor said talking about the past event to her can help her wake up. Okay. There is a boy today, appearing in my world like a hero, to protect me from being bullied again. His name is Gu Tingchen. Although he looks cool, but he illuminated me like the light. I've been secretly in love with him for so many years. He may never know. Should I be brave once? Even if being rejected, I won't regret it. I was planning to sneak in and confess. I didn't expect him to fall into the water. Fortunately, I was there. I'm so amazing. Su so Xiaowei doesn't even love Gu Tingchen. She's actually with someone else. How could she do this? Today, we got married. Will he like me? I'm so tired. I really can't love him anymore. Chui. Chui. It was you all along. Water. Chuyue, are you talking? Chuyue, you are awake, right? Chuyue. Doctor! What's wrong with Aan? -An? She just... I think she just moved her fingers. Congratulations! Your wife will wake up soon! Chuyue... 
Do you want to drink some water? Gu Tingchen, you are really noisy. As long as I wake you up, I'll keep talking, even if you dislike it. Gu Tingchen, you really. I love you. I will be a good father for the child, your husband, your lover. But I don't know. Are you willing to give me this chance? <laughs>